if I were to ask you to give me your top three problems with men in America today, what, what would be those three? While the answers to that question vary, there's going to be a wide range of different opinions on this. I believe that what men in America lack boils down to three basic fundamental foundational principles. And that's integrity, truth, and discipline. Now, whatever your answers were, whatever, whatever you came up with for your, for your top three, if you, if you unpack what you said, what you felt, what you thought, those are probably going to fall into one of those categories or there will be an overlap there. And one of the problems that I, one of the, one of the biggest problems that I have with the manosphere is the repetitive jargon that has basically been just regurgitated, repackaged and rebranded for each content creator's twist on the various things that are regarding human sexual inner intersexual dynamics things like hypergamy dating single mothers all of these drums have been beaten to the point where they don't really make a sound you're just watching characters that's not what i'm about here i've made videos addressing these topics talking talking about these things and putting my perspective on it but I find no I find no benefit in concentrating on things that they do. While I'll point out I will definitely point out the things that I've experienced and share my opinion on these things, saying the same thing that hundreds of men before me have said and continue to say, it doesn't serve men well. But I understand why this content is so prevalent. If, if you listen to the creator's take on it, it's just because there's new people coming in and I need to keep it fresh, but that's not the truth. The truth is drama, all of the, all of the shit that comes with, uh, with the hypergamy porn, the look at what these, look at what these people are doing now, men and boys concentrating on what other men do with their lives, the decisions that they make. It's again, it's like daytime television for women. And a lot of men don't even understand that they're partaking in this because the feminization of our country is so thoroughly complete that what men do that they believe that they're being alpha or masculine is just like, just like what women were doing in the seventies and eighties while they were pointing at everything that men did, all the darkness of men. And building the platform of feminism that all that all the men in the manosphere are suffering from today. And so all we're doing here is repeating what women did to get them into the dysfunctional state. Not looking at ourselves, not asking ourselves, not thinking for ourselves, just going on, going along with the prescribed narrative that all women are whores and all women are this and all this is destined to happen that this this way it's going to happen that way and one of the latest the latest examples is everybody being in Jeezy's business now all of a sudden all of these men and boys have something to say about what this man chooses to do with his with his life all of these crystal ball having motherfuckers know exactly how Jeezy's situation is going to come about because of what they've heard and seen and what they believe but maybe, maybe it's just because that's what gets attention. You see, the problem, the problem with the manosphere is that everybody is just, it's an echo chamber. It is, it is a, it is an echo chamber for cognitive dissonance. Very few men are really giving men good sound foundational tools to build it's just a bunch of tricks and games and regurgitation of dumb shit. And not, not that it's not true. Not that any of it is that it lacks of validity. But once you get these facts, what comes next? 
What comes next? And so we have a bunch of talk about, you know, oh, here's another example. Oh, guys, oh, fellas, this is, this, this is what, and the problem is, is very few men are getting any sort of, any sort of real advice to help them truly fix what is wrong with their lives. And the problem is, is our feminine narrative that has become so normal for men, it it dictates that instead of seeking out ways to fix things, instead of seeking out a way to, to make things better, the way old school men used to do, now men are seeking out vaginal advice. How do I get her back? Why'd she leave me? All of this, all of this weakness. Instead of asking the questions of how did I pick that one? How did I not see these things? How did I let this go? Or better yet, how did I, how did I come about my picker? How did I decide what a woman was? See, gentlemen, I think that one of the biggest problems that men have, and definitely what the manosphere is suffering, is a lack of integrity. A lack of integrity. A very few, very few people want to do the work that it's going to actually take to get to the place that they say they want to go. It's harder to look at yourself and say, what do I need to fix about myself? Or better yet, what breaches were in my fortifications that allowed myself to, 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 to find myself in the situation? How did this bitch get behind the wire? That should be the question. Not why did she go do this and why did she do that? That's really not your business. Why did you let that insurgent be on your wire? Who taught you how to pick what was good and what was evil? Or do you just go off of the way that you feel, your emotion at the, at the time? Did the girl just make you feel good so you rushed in and gave her everything? Gave her your heart? Gave her your soul? Gave her your dreams, your ambition? You see, gentlemen, integrity, integrity, discipline, and truth, these things, these things should fortify your life. They should fortify who you're trying to be going forward. You shouldn't be trying to learn game the 15 ways that all the, you shouldn't, that's, that is a waste of time. That's a waste of time. And what you're really doing when you're, when you're trying to learn these ways to enter, enter into this fray and, and get your way and spin plates and all, all of these different things, you're not dealing with the real source of your problem. And that is you, it's you, it's your lack of, it's your lack of boundaries. It's your lack of external and internal boundaries. Because most of the time, when men find themselves in situations with women, there were, there were tales way before, often right, out, right off the bat. Right off the bat, when you are entering into a situation with, with one of these snakes, you already know. On an instinctual level, you know. And if you don't, you're just either dumb or you're not paying attention. But most men, when they, when they exit, when they exit the the battlefield and they get out of the theater of war, that is breakup and they start to assess their performance. It's really easy to see where you should have X filled at this point or this point or this point, but because of the way that you were raised, the way that you were led to believe that you were supposed to act the way you were supposed to conduct yourself as a man. You stayed right in the battlefield, taking just payload after payload, injury after injury, just putting dirt on it and staying in the fight because that's what a good man's supposed to do, right? A lot of times we let these women breach us. We, they breach our fortifications because those fortifications are wide open. They're wide open. And the reason why they're wide open is because nobody taught us to fortify those boundaries. 
the lack of male influence in boys and girls has such a detrimental effect on the children because the way our society has constructed the narrative big boys don't cry has become a toxic masculinity but that's not what fathers who tell their boys that that's not what they mean they're not trying to to, to absolve their their boys from ever shedding a tear when something hurts what that's meant to do is teach the young boy that not every every time you feel something do you need to react this way you fall off your bike and skin your knee up a little bit yeah it hurts but it's no reason to scream and cry and act like a like a little girl that's just the, that's what that means that's all that is now granted there are some abusive fathers or over over dominant fathers who think that that's weakness but that's not that's not toxicity that's not them trying to break their boys what that is is they don't have the tools to not do to not do that they don't have the tools to deal with their boys emotions so what they try to do is get them to a point where they don't they don't have to deal with it if they can harden up their boys enough to where they don't cry then they never get exposed for their weakness that was my problem with my son I wasn't abusive or overly dominant with my son but anytime something happened that anytime that he 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 got in a situation where he wanted to cry or he was actually hurt on the inside of me I couldn't help him there was nothing that I could do to, to make him not hurt and it made me angry it made me angry I wanted him to to stop crying I wanted him to stop hurting and, I, and the things the actions that I took in, the, in my demeanor wasn't wasn't of a father who didn't care it was of a man who was confused I didn't know what to do I showed up at the scene took him you know took him in my arms and tried to make him feel better with my presence but when that doesn't work I didn't know what to do and so on the inside I would feel this this rage and I never expressed it outwardly but my expectation was my son sucked it up picked up whatever it was that he fell off of ran into whatever it was and deal with it because that's that's the way I was taught to deal with things there's a difference between being injured and being hurt a little bit and so when men tell their boys big boys don't cry what they're trying to do is get them show them a regulation system in their emotions yeah when you when you hit your elbow on something it hurts but if you act like a like a damn fool every time you feel a little bit of pain people are gonna look at you as a freak as a weak bitch man and that's what that is But when you remove that and have mom there running there to his side every time he he bumps his toe or scrubs his knee or gets his feels hurt and she just cuddles him up and makes him express these things like a dad would his daughter it is it's no wonder that men grow up unable to deal with their emotions and easily trapped and flanked because that's what mom groomed them for when there's no man around to counter to, to give that that counter kids male and female grow up broken they grow up incomplete and the incompletion is sought out in external factors and forces drugs gangs all the different things that single motherhood yields these kids pregnancy that's seeking daddy that's seeking that male guidance and there's no integrity there's no discipline because there's no honesty there's no honesty and a lot of men don't even know who the fuck they are they don't understand why they're choosing who they're choosing why they're staying through the pain why it happens over and over again I say this gentlemen it's because you lack truth integrity discipline those three things if you if you can seek to to make those three things your cornerstones they'll make that they'll make those the foundational cornerstones of who you are as a man 
and it boils down to very simple good and bad. Good or bad, right or wrong. That's it. Are you breaking or are you building? If you if you know the truth, if you can understand who you are, not the person that you that you pretend to be to the world, the person that you hide from the world, the person that you hide from yourself. If you can come to a real truthful understanding of who you are as a man and why you make the choices, then you can start to make different choices. Once you understand why you make mistakes, then you can set out to correct them. But if you're always seeking to blame them over there, their nature, society, it's very easy to find a scapegoat. And you'll find yourself either lonely and secretly miserable or repeating the same terrible choices, mistakes, if you will, over and over again, and then desperately seeking to blame someone or something else. My purpose, again, with this channel is not to gain some sort of notoriety or fame for myself. I'm trying to help men. I'm trying to help men because... So many of us have grown up broken and have wandered through this, this world confused. So many things that are the trappings for us. So many of the things that we pursue and believe that they add value and happiness and completion to our lives only add to our misery. Our attachment and our expectation of external things make it really easy for people to sell their souls for temporary gratification if you have no honor in who you are if you have no integrity really of who you are then your life is going to be shit it'll continue to be that and if you spend your time worrying about what Jeezy and Cardi B and all of these wasteful wasteful things that so many so called men talk about trying to justify their cause how is that helping you build so you already know what female nature is like. Do you need to spend hours a day listening to your, your favorite crush on YouTube, talk about it, finding examples to, to back up how you feel, finding examples to make you feel better that you weren't the only one who she did that to? This isn't new, gentlemen. What's new is a lack of, of self-discipline, self-control, the lack of boundaries, the lack of integrity in men. When a man when a man chooses to sleep with a woman who's married just because he can, the man's not an alpha, the man's a piece of shit. That that man's not that man is not a high value dude. That guy is just a piece of shit. We we look at things and we measure things according to what society says they're this is this is what these are what, this is what alphas do. This is Chad and Tyrone and all the, these guys who do this. These guys who who that's their whole mission in life is to is to see how many women they can stack up. Those guys are broken. That's not a success. No, that's no more of a success than a woman who gives herself away to every dude just to fulfill that hole in herself. Running through a bunch of nasty whores doesn't add to your value as a man. Being able to discern between good and bad, right and wrong, that adds value. That's integrity, gentlemen. That's integrity. That's having boundaries, external and internal. This person, this woman, this married woman, or this woman who's in a relationship with a guy who has no idea that she's out trolling for your peace, this woman wants you to do something that is wrong. And even if she's hot, it doesn't matter, it's wrong. So when you let that woman, that outside force, break your, your boundaries to the outside world, you're breached. You're breached when you don't shut that conversation down. The moment you learn that this is a fucking snake, you're breached. You're weak. You lack integrity. Because the right thing to do, no matter what you feel, no matter what you want, is to tell that woman about herself. Or at a minimum, walk away. 
But so many men are so thirsty, so desperate and lack any sort of discipline or self, any integrity, any moral foundation that they're just going to go along because if it wasn't them, it's going to be someone else. That's a problem. And when you choose to engage with that person, even though you know that you're wrong, you know that it's wrong. You've broken your second line of defense, your internal boundaries. And to believe that that's not going to have some sort of consequence is absolutely foolish. You don't need to give it a name. You don't have to call it anything. You don't have to make it a spiritual situation. But people always, always get back. They always get back measures that they give. And it might not come directly. It might not come in the same way. But when you're honest and you can view the things, the consequences, and it might not be for something that you did this time, it's just your time to pay. When you live your life with integrity, when you live your life according to a set of values, not for the world, who gives a fuck about what the, this world thinks about who you are? So what you want to conform to? This world is what you want to impress? Nah, I don't think so. That's not the way to where you want to go. Set a set of rules for yourself. Learn, learn to say no to external forces that, that try to put you in a situation, in a position to, to break your own rules. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, no matter what you want, if it's against your rules, don't let it get outside that fence. If it does breach your fence, your personal, what your actions are, what you choose to do with that thing. From from sleeping with a, a married woman to eating that piece of cake or the whole cake when you're obese and about to die. This is what integrity is, gentlemen. It's not the falsehood that you portray. It's not the bullshit that you want the world to believe. It's the person that you know you are when nobody else is around. It's the person that makes you feel sad and empty and alone. It's the person that made you accept that woman who tore your fucking soul out and shit on you. And you allowed it. Oftentimes you begged for it. It's all about integrity, gentlemen. It's all about integrity, discipline, and truth. That's what's missing from the manosphere. That's what's missing from men. Make that your objective for the next 30 days. I view everything, everything, honestly, with integrity. And then pursue whatever your actions are to be with discipline. And set up, set up integrity checks. Set up integrity checks for yourself along the way. Stop during the course of the day and ask yourself, where have you compromised your integrity? And give yourself a punishment for those violations. Something that's not comfortable. Something that, something that while you're doing it, you're going to remember why you don't want to do it again. Learn some discipline. Have some integrity. And tell the truth. And everything in your world will start looking drastically different. I promise you.